In this video, we'll look at the hybridization for H2O. This is water. So let's start out doing it kind of the quick way. We have this table here, and we can look at the Lewis structure. So we need a good Lewis structure for water. And we can look at the number of things bonded to the central oxygen. We're not going to worry about the hydrogen. That doesn't hybridize. So if we look at this, we have one, two hydrogen atoms, and then two lone pairs. So we have four groups bonded to this oxygen. Steric number of four. That means that the oxygen will be sp3 hybridized, and the bond angle should be, the ideal bond angle should be 109.5 degrees. It'll be different for water, but close to this. So the oxygen in H2O is sp3 hybridized. Let's take a look at why that is. So oxygen on the periodic table, that's atomic number eight. It'll have eight protons and eight electrons. So we spread them out like this. We've used four five, six, seven, and eight. So we've used all of the valence electrons. When we look at this, it kind of does make sense. We have this electron here by itself and this one, so they should be able to form these bonds with the hydrogens. The problem is that these orbitals, they don't accurately describe the shape of this oxygen here in the water that we see in the lab. So this doesn't match what we have in reality. So to do that, we hybridize these orbitals here, these valence electrons. They're the ones in the outer shell, and these are the ones that will be involved in bonding. So we're going to mix this S and these three P orbitals together, and we're going to get four new orbitals. We call these sp3 because they're one part S and three parts P. And they're going to be kind of in between the energy of that 2S and the 2P. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's put those in here. One, we spread them out, two, three, four four, five, and six electrons in these new orbitals. So we've hybridized these orbitals here to make these four new sp3 orbitals. We still have these two electrons here that are available to bond, and then we have our two lone pairs. If we look at the orbital overlap diagram, it'll look like this. We have the one, two, three, four orbitals. Let's put a lone pair here and then here, and then we have these two electrons here. So we put one in this orbital, and one here. Now we can take one hydrogen, we can put it right here, and we'll put the other one right here. So now, because we've hybridized these orbitals, we've made them equal, we have the correct or the accurate geometry and bond angles for water. Look at our bond angle here, that should be 109.5 degrees. In reality, these lone pairs, they push down, they're going to make it less 104.5 degrees. So that's the hybridization for H2O water. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.